Welcome to episode 148 of the Two Minute Warning. Today I'm going over the week 13 matchup, Cleveland Browns versus the Tennessee Titans. This, both of these teams are, in my opinion, definitely going to make the AFC playoffs. I think the Titans will win their division and the Browns will be a wild card contender, but they're both going to be playoff teams fighting for a Super Bowl spot, a playoff spot, do the best they can. This is an interesting matchup because in the last four games, Baker Mayfield has thrown for 20 pass attempts or under, and they've relied on Nick Chubb to be their workhorse running back. Kind of similar how the Titans have done it. I mean, Tannehill is thrown more than Baker Mayfield, but the Titans run their offense through Derrick Henry like the Browns do with Nick Chubb. So really, if those two teams are coming in with the same type of play style, I'm really going to bet on Derrick Henry over Nick Chubb, and I'm going to bet on Ryan Tannehill over Baker Mayfield. I'm not a huge fan of Baker Mayfield. He is young. It's only his third or fourth year in the league, I believe third, but... He just, in my opinion, he hasn't really progressed. Yes, he's progressed a little since rookie year, but he's not taken a big step that shows, yeah, I can have faith in this guy. He is going to be our future quarterback, our long-term quarterback, and he's going to be our franchise guy that's going to eventually take us to the Super Bowl. He has definitely not shown that, even with the weapons around him between Odell Beckham, Kareem Hunt, Nick Chubb, Jarvis Landry, um, a pretty good defense of Miles Garrett. Um, I think it was Denzel Ward they dra drafted a few years ago, same year. And same year as Baker, and they just having that type of talent around their team, he isn't doing great. I mean, if you look at Sam Darnold, he gets a bad rap, but he has no one surrounding him, no weapons like Baker. Same thing with Daniel Jones. His Giants team is a little better, little better. But Baker of the young QBs in the NFL has one of the best rosters around him, yet he's still not really outperforming his young QB competition. So therefore, I don't have much faith in him, especially against I don't want to say a Titans good defense because they're not stellar by any means. But they're definitely above average compared to the rest of the league. And the Browns' defense is decent themselves with Miles Garrett, like I just said. But it's really going to come down to the coaching. I like Mike Vrabel over the Browns' coach. But obviously, that's not everything. I think most of it's going to come down to who's going to outperform, who's, which workhorse is going to pr produce more work, more points, and give their team in a winning position, and that's definitely going to be Derrick Henry rather than Nick Chubb. If Derrick Henry goes off another 180-yard game, three-touchdown game, he's going to be possibly an MVP. He's already in the MVP discussion right there with Aaron Rodgers and Patrick Mahomes. For him to be, even be in that discussion is an accomplishment in itself because the last time for a running back to win MVP was Adrian Peterson in like 2012. So if Derrick Henry could keep up these numbers, obviously I don't expect him to do that again, 180 yards, three touchdowns, but... If he could run for over 100 yards, get a touchdown or so, he's definitely going to be increasing his case. And that's why I think the Tennessee Titans will get a win over the Browns this week. I do think it'll be a close game because neither of these teams in any game of the season have really dominated against a good playoff team, except for the Titans early in the season. I believe it was week three or four where they destroyed the Bills. But that was just a bad night for Josh Allen overall, and the Bills didn't play well at all. Outside of that one kind of fluke, both teams aren't, you know, gunslinging guys that has quarterbacks that's going to throw for 400 yards three touchdowns Tannehill does it every now and then that's really a once or twice type of season thing and I don't think that's going to happen against the Browns and Baker we haven't seen that happen once in his career so it's not going to happen this Sunday by any means I really think it's going to come down who has the better run game who has the better defense and for me that is the Tennessee Titans and I think they'll win in a close game such as 27-20.